Appreciate you. It's hard keeping up with one of the busiest people in the capital city. No much, bro. You doing all right? In between meetings and events, Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr. joined me here along busy West Markham for a quick game of this or that. Morning or evening? Ooh. <laughs> to do what? <laughs> you can't ask me the question. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my natural self. I apologize. <laughs> it's a side of the city's chief executive most people don't get to see. Dog or cat? Neither. Ooh, Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Phone call or text? Phone call. Cake or pie? Ooh, strawberry cake. Okay. Yeah. Hamburger or taco? Neither. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if there's anything 2020 has taught us, it's to take time to enjoy life. Mayor Scott says being in this position is truly living out his dream. It's been nearly two years since Little Rock voters made history, electing Scott as the capital city's 73rd chief executive and the first black mayor. That's a humbling experience to see what we've been able to achieve in 22 months. Uh, but we still got more work to do. During his 2018 campaign, Mayor Scott promised to unite the city, improve public safety, and revitalize underserved communities. Uh, we shared that we, was going, we were going to change the status quo, uh, that we wouldn't be afraid to do things differently, and we weren't going to do things just because they were always done a certain way. Little did he know, his plans would be halted by major events that could have never been predicted. In 2019, the Arkansas River reached its highest level in recorded history. The historic flooding swallowed highways, devoured homes, and left many stranded. Not even a year later, a global pandemic would strike. The last 48 hours has been a whirlwind. On March 11th, Arkansas reported its first case of the coronavirus, and a state of emergency was announced. At the beginning of 2020, uh, we had high hopes, and we still do, and have been able to get through a lot in the midst of a crisis. Uh, but one of our uh, things that we really were focused on was our Lift Little Rock campaign, uh, which would focus on how we would reimagine, uh, revitalize, and reinvest into War Memorial Park, Hyman Park, and our entire park system of 63 parks. That campaign was suspended shortly after the mayor announced the state of the city emergency on March 12th. I would be lying to you if I didn't say uh, I've had some challenging days. But in the midst of disruption, Mayor Scott has introduced a body-worn camera system for all Little Rock Police Patrol officers and created the city's first Citizens Review Board. Overall crime is down 14 percent. Uh, Little Rock is a safe city. Now, do we have our challenges? Yes, just like any other city. Uh, but in the midst of the, the nation and what we've seen across our nation, Little Rock has been safe in the midst of a social and civil unrest. And we credit that to the, Little Rock, the men and women of Little Rock Police Department, our community leaders, and the willingness from our administration to listen uh, to those who may see areas of opportunity and to find solutions. The chief executive has also managed to fulfill his promise of revitalizing parts of the city south of Interstate 630 and east of I-30. Intentionality truly breathes unity. On September 2nd, THV 11 was there as Mayor Scott announced a three-part plan to revitalize Asher Avenue as part of a larger initiative to invigorate areas that suffered when the interstate split the city along racial and class lines back in the 1970s. As for next year, Mayor Scott is excited. Big things on his agenda to finish. He speaks about a greater focus on equity from an economic standpoint and an increased effort in the city's development. My goal, quite frankly, uh, is to chart us on a path that we increase our population uh, from 200,000 uh, to 300,000. Uh, and but we not only are we focused on increasing that population, but we have jobs to provide for that population. And if we can focus on jobs, focus on unity, focus on safety, I think we will be uh, one of those cities that everyone's trying to figure out what's going on there so they can move there.